Okay guys, just a quick video on the OP1. Came across this idea. I've been playing around with you know computer stuff for years and I don't know, just something kind of caught my my attention the other day when I was playing around with a Wi-Fi card reader. And I got this one locally. This one reads, you know, SD cards, compact flash cards, all those sort of different cards. But also it's got, and most of them do, some USB ports on the back so that you can read, you know, thumb drives and things like that. And it actually acts as a wireless access point. So what got me thinking though is the OP1 is class compliant for USB. So I tried this out and uh, you can plug these things in, stick it in COM mode, chuck it onto disk mode. Firstly, let's have a look at Windows. All right, on Windows, we need to first connect to the cloud Wi-Fi. So it's kind of like a, a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then what we need to do is access the web address that they supply in the manual. And hopefully this will give us some files, yes. So if I double click on share, I should see the OP1 and I do, I see storage. And there's the album in there, nice. The tape, all the tape files in there, cool. Let's drag one of the album files off. Let's just make sure this works. Just click OK on that warning. OK, let's try and see if we get some sound out of that. Once you've got the AIF file, as you know, from your album, you can then put it into your DAW and mix it down. So have I got Ableton on here? To there. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, so there's audio there. Now, one thing I wanted to check on this, so let's bang out of this, is I wanted to see if I could put a file on here. Um, so let me just try something here. We'll call that side C. Let's see if that'll let me put a file on there. So how you guys been? Friday here. Always love Fridays. This looks exciting, isn't it? I'm doing burnouts. <laughs> I can hear <laughs> I can hear a cop car as well. That's funny. Someone's having fun. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Alright, look at that actually looks like it's on there. That's impressive. I'm gonna assume that we can write on there now. All right, guys, that's the Windows part. Let's take a, now, a look now at the iPad side of it. So, you know, we can we could connect the Mac as well to this as well. So you can also try this on the iPad. So in settings, Wi-Fi, join your cloud, wait for that to finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not going to work, is it? Why is that not going to work? Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> this particular one comes with an app called WD Player. And there it all is there. How cool is that? So you can access the stuff on your iPad. 
I'm sure you can just plug the cable in through a camera connection kit as well, I know, but the whole point of this is that I've just gone from one computer to another, continuously recorded this video, and bang, access the same files on my iPad without actually having to remove any cables or anything like that. I just thought maybe that's of use to somebody. If it is, let us know in the comments below. Thumbs up and subscribe. I've got some more IP1 stuff coming. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you soon.